So, hello everybody, my name is Rook Gypsy, and this is going to be a new series for Pokemon. I am playing Pokemon Ruby. Now, yeah, that's about it. There isn't really a reason why I'm playing Ruby versus Sapphire, per se. Yeah, it just I had this downloaded. I didn't want to download another one. I think I just randomly chose one. I don't remember why I chose Ruby. I didn't choose Emerald because I didn't want to play Emerald. Like I had Ruby and Sapphire, so I'll just play one of those. I don't want to play Emerald because I did not have that one. So uh, yeah. As for why I am no longer playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel stories, even though I didn't get reached to the end, it's because there's too many bugs in like the ROM. Like every time I tried playing something. It's always like, alright, well, you know, 1 in 10 matches, there's going to be the glitch where it freeze it. it's going to freeze. You know, 1 in 10 matches, it's going to freeze. And then, you know, every time I try to switch to a new character to fight, face, like, one in, like in the first 3 matches, the game's going to crash or something. So, too many issues, too frequently. That's why I decided to start a new series, just start playing Pokemon Ruby. Now, I played Ruby before, in the past. Here's what I'm going to set the options to. You can just look at them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I played before, you see, I got I played like 13 hours, 13 and a half, really. Got the five badges, I stopped at the uh, Magma Gym. And I stopped because I think, it's because I switched laptops, yeah. So I stopped playing, like, so, just to give some heads up, I got Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire back when I was a kid. <laughs> Probably like when they first came out. Like I, was, I, put, I got them in middle school, so played them. Uh, got to the elite. I played them both at the same time, and then got to elite four. Never beat Steven. Mainly because I think I ran out of revives and I ran out of super potions or hyper potions or whatever. Yeah, never beat Steven. So close, but never beat him. And then I was too stupid to, like, stop, so I was just, like, you know, I didn't really go back and, like, just try again. And I wasn't really into the grinding part, so. This time, yeah, I beat him a few years later. In, uh, Omega Ruby, because that's what I bought. So, yeah, now I'm going to beat him this time in the actual game, so. I'm going to keep waiting for High Sun Hulk World of Pokemon. My name is Birch. <laughs> right. Because you know, clearly, it's not your first name or your last name. I guess you don't have. It will call me the Pokemon Professor. So Professor Burke. So what's your first name? Whatever. Does that mean Amy's last name is Birch, or May's last name is Birch, or whatever? This world is widely inhabited by creatures Pokemon. We humans live long as Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative uh, workmates. Really, this is for kids, huh? The wording. And sometimes we band together to and battle others like us. But as our slowness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. In Rebel Pokemon Mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Are you a boy? Or a girl? Am I a boy? Or am I a girl? I am a boy. What's my name? Well, it's not Landon. It's a different YouTuber. Was actually famous. He's played with the Game Grumps, I think. Game Grumps and, you know, other people. Other YouTubers that are more famous than I am and actually get paid to do this stuff. You know, but that's a dream. And that'll probably never happen, but still, it's a dream. Yes. Uh, okay. You're Rook Gyps Gypsy. Yeah, whatever. Rook Gypsy! Who moved? to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and lead into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me 
me and my Pokemon Lab. Just to let you guys know, I did beat Pokemon Platinum just now, a little recently. I just uh, didn't. I like I caught uh, two of the legendaries and I just like stopped. Cause I was like, uh, there seems to be some more like stuff afterwards you can do, but I don't wanna. So, yeah. I somehow got the audio working as well, so I can. There's actually sound now. Yay! From Tippy. We're here, honey. Must be tiring riding in with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. Why can't I sit in the front with you? I guess you weren't there. Why can't I sit in the front? Is it because there's like a really weird man in the front that you don't trust? Uh. Oh well. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? I don't know. I'll never get to live here. I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes. And you get your own room, Rich. Uh, let's go inside. Yeah, I get my own room like in every game. See, isn't it nice here? The Boomer Pokemon do all the work of moving as in and cleaning up after. It's so convenient. It's like Japan all over again. Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Sure, whatever. It doesn't matter. The clock has stopped. Better set and start it. It is about 7 p.m. where I'm at. Six. It's pretty much six fifty, actually. So, yes. How do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Wow, that's fast. The movers are so convenient. Convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything is all there on your desk. Which means just go here. Uh, out of storage. Scroll items. Take that potion. This is here. I didn't want to see it starts the same this uh, be the alright whatever. It's a Nintendo GameCube. Game Boy Advance is connected to the server the, to serve as the controller. Ah yes, the good old days. And now my dog is barking. Oh look, come quick uh, quickly, come quick. Look, it's Peterburg City Jim. Maybe that will be on. Uh from Peterburg. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is in Prof. Prof. Birch. I'm a professor. Nobody calls you the Pokemon Professor Birch. They just call you Prof. Birch. I don't think he's ever mentioned as a Pokemon Professor. Uh, yeah, it should be like. Text should actually say. Uh, instead of saying, like, you know, people call me the Pokemon Professor, you should just, you should just say, I'm a Pokemon Professor. That would have made more sense. He lives right next door. I mean, literally nobody calls him the Pokemon Professor. Only Oak is ever called the Pokemon Professor. So, right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Sure. Where else would he live in this town of two, uh, two houses and a, you know, and a lab? Uh, where else would he live? Oh, hello, and you are... Da, 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 da. That's a lot of dots. That is one, two, three. Nine, nine, eighteen dots. Oh, you're blah blah blah, our new next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter is excited about making a new friend. Daughter is upstairs, I think. You don't even know your daughter's name. You never mentioned your daughter's name. Why couldn't you say, Oh, we have a daughter. We have a daughter named May. She was something that it does. It's a very third person. Sort of really regret the writing of this. Pokemon fully restored. Brian, Betty, and huh? Uh, who, who are you? Blah, 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 18 dots again. Oh, well, 18 sets of three is what will make it. Let's see. Three is 27. What's that? No. Maybe we make it 24, 24, 3, 54 dots. Oh, you're in a gypsy. They move with today. Hi, uh, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of being friends with Pokemon all over the world. Uh, I heard about you, Rip, to the dad, Prof. Bird. Not even. Okay, yeah, don't be called Professor Bird. That you'd be nice and that we could be friends. Sure, why not? I'll be friends with the girl. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I just met you. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch the wild Pokemon. I'll catch you later. Okay. What do you want? Here's something shining down the road. Uh. 
Here's a bigger question. Why are you so small? I'm just 10 years old. What are, how old are you? How are you so small and where do you live? What are you? You can't possibly exist in old boy. Worthless stuff that you're talking about. Oh well. That helps me. I cannot get into, like, characters. I'll probably just, uh... Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there is a Pokeball. Who should I go for? I want a Torchic? I want Trico? Or should I go for Mudkip, which is my favorite? It's hard to say. Gen 3 starters were, like, my favorite starters. Like, all of them are, like, the best. Mudkip is great. Blaziken, oh sorry, Torchic was the was adorable, and Trico was just the coolest. So should I do? Should I be strong, cute, or powerful? I'm gonna go with Trico, and here's why. I have never started with a Grass Pokemon except for in Gen 3, and also because in Pokemon Generations, they have like the scene where like. Uh, the main character shows up, he's raiding the Team Magma base, and he has a, uh, he has a Skeptile. I believe with Trico, just cause. Yes. It'll make it more interesting when I fight the Team Magma characters, to give them a the chance. Gianna. Oh, that's level 2. I have the same feeling as, uh, what's-her-face, uh, Jaden right now, where it's like, really? Level 2, you can just kick it. I think that it is Jaden, like from Jaden Animation or something. Because she did one on, I think she did an animation on like Omega Ruby or something, I don't know. I might just put a link in the description or something. I remember just seeing it. It was like the Omega Ruby, like, if she played it and stuff. And she had some very funny commentary. Woo! I was in the tall grass. Studying well Pokemon when I jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh. Ah, your law. It's not the place to chat. Let's come to Pokemon that later, okay? Wow, teleportation abilities. What are you? Why do you, all you professors get teleportation abilities? What about me? Fake. Seriously. Gary had it. Oak had it. What the heck, dude? I, so, I've heard so much of, about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with... I don't know what that is. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, uh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have your Pokemon you used earlier. You saved Trico! While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? No, I'm not giving them names. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid, May, is out on Route 103, and there's a dang. Uh, there's a helicopter flying over. Uh, there's a helicopter. It's like three miles away and it's like flying over it's super loud. Or a plane, it's hard to say. I don't know if that's a helicopter or a plane. I really couldn't care less at this point. Either way, it's annoying, it's loud, and high above the sky. I can't do anything about it. As I was saying, my May, my kid May is out on Route 103, still in Pokemon. I wish I had one of kid. Uh, why not be a bad idea for you to go see May? What do you think? Sure, why not? Great, May should be happy too. You get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Uh, what does it mean to be a trainer? It means I get running shoes. I'd like some running shoes around around now. Shoes to run would be great. I really don't want to just zoom off on my own now, do I? Use a touch screen because there is no touch screen here, so. To use a plane on the, the DS, the, I use like the DS MU when it's very different because like the buttons are all different. Instead of Z for A, it's like X for A. Uh, just keep pounding them. Pound them harder. Here we go, pound them harder. Probably take down one more. Out of harder Trico. I think Trico's physical. I should probably check the stats for that. 
Ooh, there's a dude. Uh, I'm gonna catch his lizard. What should, what should I catch? I, should, I want a Ralts. Always want a Ralts. I guess I'll catch his lizard and just make it a slave. Yes, that was fast. Oops, the buttons are faster than I am. Overgrow, not surprising. It has. Oh, he's mainly special attack. Interesting. Alright, uh, whatever. One thing I'm glad is they removed the berry system. The berry was a very annoying system. I might not need to heal when I think about it. Oh, but I will need a flying Pokemon, though. Mm. I don't know if they get a, water, a flying Pokemon. And who should I use as water Pokemon? I'm not using Melodic. That's a pain. Maybe he has a Gyarados? Oh, yeah. What should I do? This is the pregame grind! What should I do? I'm not catching a Wurmple. Yeah, I don't need to know one of those bug Pokemon situations. Wurmple is just simply not the same as a Beedrill. They're just not the same. I do think that, like, what's... <clears throat> I know that, you know, this is probably pretty late in the game, but, uh... Pokemon Center Moon, they could have had a lot more bug Pokemon. I was really expecting to see, like, carnivorous uh, caterpillar Pokemon. Because there are carnivorous caterpillars in, uh, Hawaii, so... And Sun and Moon was pretty much based in Hawaii. Based it, but based on Hawaii. So, I was really expecting that. Oh well. Ooh, 20, that's good. Mm. Yes, growl at me. I'll attack you more. Give me your juices. Juices. Ay, ay, ay. Luciana, I found you. Go ahead and tackle me all you want. I'm just gonna pound you more. So it's three hits to beat you, though. Works as well because now May has a what you call it. May now has a torching. Definitely get to speed up that part, and when I need to grind. Who are you? Why? Okay. stuff yet? Hmm. Okay, well. Can I get ready to choose from somebody? Can I get shoes from somebody? Oh, he won't let me go that way. Well, let's go fight some bigger fish. I want to speed it up a little bit more, but I don't want to ruin the game like last time. Oh well. It's going pretty fast. It's actually a lot faster than the other one, so... I think this will be fine. And there is May! 
May, maybe she'll marry me one day. Ooh, Winkle. Like, what do I want as a fire Pokemon? What do I want as a flying Pokemon? I already know the two Pokemon I want. I want an Absol, which I don't think I'll be able to get. I want... And I want a Gardevoir, which I think I'll be able to get. Salamence would be a good addition, but there's no guarantee I'll get them. I always want a ground Pokemon as well. I'll probably get a Flygon, because it's easy to get him pretty early in the game. Well, not early in the game, probably like half, more after, let's say, halfway through the game. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get Flygon halfway through the game. Is there another option I could use? I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. It's hard to say. I'll find out later. Okay. Let's heal up a bit more before we go talk to May. Absorb everything. Take everything from him. Sorry, take everything from her. That probably sounds really terrible, but absorb everything she has. Bring her down. Yes. This early game grind will help me very much, very quickly. See, what I don't want to get is another camera, because then it's like, I'm copying the other the Team Magma, and I don't want to get, like, a caravan, uh, what's it called, Trapedo. Just because. Really, nothing more than just because. Just because I don't want one. Okay. I am now full. Hi, May, and you're going to be May. May, it's me, Rook Chip. Your neighbor, come on, May, don't ignore me. Why aren't you talking to me? Maybe go over here. Look, I'm farther than you are into the grass. She's not talking to me. She's either very, very focused or very, very good at ignoring me. Probably both. I think I remember, like, when I first played Ruby and Sapphire, I thought May was a little, a little like, rude or annoying. But then the May in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was, like, very, very nice. Yeah, she seemed like a very nice girl. I will be fully healed. Heal me! Let me drink you. So close, but just not quite. It's a Zigzagoon. There's only three Pokemon it could be. Absorb him. I got it right this time. He is actually new. Yes. Hmm. I have to talk to May. Hi, May. Uh, now she's yeah, she's just doing some stuff. Let's see. Include the Pokemon found on Brute One Ultimate. Include. Oh wow, she has exclamation marks. Oh my. Oh hi, Rufus. Oh, I see. Dad gave you Pokemon as gifts. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what the Panda is like. Okay, sure, whatever you say, May. Ah, you're so cute. Poor Chuck. Pounder, pound him. Scratch. Pound him. The scratch has got nothing on you. Go, Rico. Easy fight. You'll never lose another fight. You'll never lose a fight to this chicken, I'll tell you that much. Yay. Yep. Wow, that's great. You're pretty strong. 
no idea it does. And I have for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it's here. It relates to you. You might be able to befriend any Pokemon, kind of Pokemon, easily. Well, time to head back to the lab. You have to do something right. There not be some sort of like stupid like parcel thing again. I have to. Hi, May. Are you waiting for me? Who are you? This guy? No, oh, he's the same size. Never mind. He's not a midget like the other one. Over here, let's hurry home. Okay. Jump over the hedges. I'm home. Oh, nothing. To the lab! Why is there always one, like, super fat person in this front of the town I live in? Birch looks actually really angry in this game. Oh well, hi. Will you beat May on your first try? That's excellent. May has been helping with her research for a long time. May has a sense of history as a Pokemon hitter over here. In order for, or the, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. He ordered it. To get it from. Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Why don't you just call May goes everywhere with it? I'm a writer, so I'm not thinking about this stuff. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, why don't you say whenever May catches a rare Pokemon? I record the data in the Pokedex. Why May looks for me while I'm out doing while I'm doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, you got a Pokedex too. That's great. Just like me, I've got something for you too. I'm not a Pokeball. Yeah, look my balls. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want to with Pokemon. If I find any Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Alright, guess I'm off. And so the journey begins. We'll talk to my mom first. Mommy! Did you just yourself to Pro, Pro First? Well, what a adorable Pokemon. You got it from Pro First. How nice. You're your father's child, alright? You look. Good together with Pokemon here, honey. If you're going out, eventually wear these running shoes. Look at a zip in your step. Shoes with the running shoes. Just come to the instructions. Press B while wearing these running shoes for it. So the long drawn shoes and brace for Uh, okay. Ready to Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, get them, honey. Can we? Are okay. Hold well, on. There I go. And I am fast. Woohoo! Unlimited stamina, baby. Doing what I could never do in real life. Alright, let's go. Found him. Found him. And so the adventure begins. So the legacy continues of Rook Jip. Jippy. Rook GPY. Rook GPY. That's the way to go. Where will his adventure take him? Everyone knows. Already, so. Definitely gonna be Elite Four. Gonna take me to fight Team Magma and Elite Four. That's the way this game works. Now every Pokemon game works. Here we go. All right then. I'm back here. Maybe I can buy more Pokeballs. I need more. I think I only have five. Yes, I can buy more. Yes, I want ten. Yes, Premier Ball. Now I have 16, 16 balls I can use, but 15 really. And now this way is open. Ralts. Ralts, give me a Ralts. I want a Ralts. Sidon. I actually don't need you now, so. I might have chosen you in the past, but I don't need you, so. Okay, well. All oh, right, you're useless as well because all you have is heart and vibe. But yeah, don't need you. Level ten. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Hopefully, I can run into a uh, Ralts sometime. I know there's Ralts in this uh, place, so hopefully I can find it. I'm also gonna have to look up like what the differences between Gen three are and what Pokemon there are, so I can actually build up my team. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is 
Part 1 of Rogue Gypsy Plays Pokemon Ruby. The adventure begins. <laughs> See you next video. Bye.